547, in honor of Black History Month, we are learning about historically black colleges and universities, also known as HBCUs. HBCUs played a critical role in establishing educational needs for black Americans. Sarah Costa has more. Prior to the Civil War, there was not a structured higher education system for black students. Public policy and certain provisions prohibited the education of blacks in various parts of the nation, which is why historically black colleges and universities were so important. The Institute for Colored Youth, the first higher education institution for blacks, was founded in Cheney, Pennsylvania in 1837, making it the first historically black college and university. It was followed by two other black institutions, Lincoln University in Pennsylvania in 1854 and Wilberforce University in Ohio in 1856. According to the U.S. Department of Education, although these were called universities or institutions from their founding, a major part of their mission in the early years was to provide elementary and secondary schooling for students who had not had previous education. It was not until the early 1900s that HBCUs began to offer courses and programs at the post-secondary level. HBCUs have played an historical role in enhancing equal educational opportunity for all students. By 1953, more than 32,000 students were enrolled in well-known HBCUs like Fisk University, Hampton Institute, Howard University, and Morehouse College. Today, there are 107 HBCUs in the U.S. There are nine HBCUs in Texas, and St. Phillips College is the only HBCU in San Antonio.